your first time here at Austin? Or uh, it it's not. I was here um, for South by Southwest uh, this past year for a film called Small Town Crime. And then I was here for uh, ATX season one, actually, a long time ago. Uh, we came here to do a little One Tree Hill kind of farewell in our final season. So it's good to be back. It's good I'm, to be back for this. I bet it's so great having the public and just being able to talk to them, to the fans that you know have watched you so religiously. Yeah, and it's great to see how this festival has grown and attracted so many of the fans that were really, you know, the reason that One Tree Hill was so successful. And now um, it's great to be back here for our project. Everyone is doing great. And, and see how many of those same fans are supportive of us and are coming out to, to you know, watch the pilot on Sunday. Yeah, tell me more about this new project. Uh, well, again, it's called Everyone is Doing Great, and it's about uh, two guys who were on like a kind of a hit vampire drama. It was called Eternal, kind of like a Vampire Diaries type show. And now it's five years later, and uh, they're kind of in a lull. They're struggling to figure out what's next, and they, they really can't figure it out. So it's a comedy about just these guys just running into walls, and it derives the humor out of their difficulty. So it's like kind of painful, awkward humor, like a slow-moving train wreck kind of thing. So, yeah. I'm assuming something new for you, doing that painful, awkward humor. Yeah, I mean, it's something that we've admired, Stephen and I, you know, tonally. It's our favorite shows, you know, like The Office. Or it's like these really gritty, kind of like handheld, naturalistic style shows that just strip people completely down and show them um, in their most awkward moments. And uh, I, I don't know, we love that. We felt like we knew this world where we had a lot of potential for those oppor opportunities, and, and here we are.